This 1981 F-33 Bonanza is to be fitted with the new Marsh Brothers Aviation gear door hinge bearings on the main gear doors. We are first removing the hinge bolt from the left inner gear door. Access is tight here and it's best done by two people. The aft bolt is a bit easier to access. This door doesn't come free easily because the hinge bushings are flanged. Earlier models used washers to fill the spaces. Once the door is free, the OEM flanged steel bushings can be removed. The door is cleaned with solvent and inspected for any possible damage. The anchoring structure on the airframe should also be checked. Note that there are two bushings and one sleeve for the forward hinge arm. We'll be pressing the two arrow top bushes into the single forward hinge arm. Enter the bush into the hinge arm manually to start it. Then complete the job using a C-clamp modified to serve as a jack. Press one bushing in from each side. The stainless steel sleeve supplied with the kit should be a sliding fit into the bush. In this case the sleeve fit was a little too tight, so we're opening it up with a 0.251 reamer. In most cases this should not be necessary. Now the fit of the sleeve is perfect. The arrow tough bush will be pressed into the steel housing fitted to the hinge arm. Again, we start it going by hand and finish the job with the jack. Again, the stainless sleeve is tested for fit. The door is ready to be refitted. Because our kit uses washers for spacing instead of the flanged bearings, we'll position the washers with stick it before fitting the door. In this case, we're using two normal washers on the front side of the hinge arm and one on the back side. On the aft hinge, we will use two thin washers, one on the front and one on the back. Mitch is holding the bolt head while Andrew tightens the nut on the aft side. The inaccessibility of this location is very likely the reason these joints may not always be lubricated on an annual basis. With AeroTuff it just doesn't matter. With the front hinge secured, the aft arm washers are added to the structure. Mitch is using two long socket extensions to access the aft hinge bolt head. The actuator bolt is now replaced and complying with the placard, the bolt head is aft. It's a clearance issue and it's important. The outboard doors have easier access and the work will go more quickly. The outer gear door turnbuckle stays are removed from the gear legs. Note the position of the washers. Hard to see what's going on here, but this is much easier and it's a one-man job. Andrew has removed the nut and the bolt from the forward hinge. Once the aft bolt is removed, the door can be dismounted. The steel OEM bushings are removed from the forward hinge one from each side. We will need to push out the outer steel bushings before fitting AeroTuff. We fitted a polymer spacer between the two hinge arms to keep them from being bent as the old bushes are being pressed out. The other yellow plastic piece is being used to receive the bush as it's pressed out, but you could also use a socket for this. Andrew's pressing out the old bush using the steel push pin supplied with the kit. We will leave the spacer in position as we press in the new AeroTuff bush. Again, the bush is started by hand and completed with the jack. The AeroTuff has been pressed into position with equal amounts protruding on each side. The sleeve fit is then checked again for freedom of motion. The stock bushings were flanged in this case and the flanges are the thickness of thin washers. So with the AeroTuff bushes, we will use thin washers for spacing. Once the hinge bolts are tightened, the door should move easily. The stainless sleeves will be captured between the steel washers and the aluminum fuselage flanges. 
The bush will turn against the sleeve as the doors move. The stays are reattached with washers positioned as they were removed. We hope your job will go smoothly. You should never need to worry about lubricating these locations again. Look for self-lubricating nose gear door hinge bushings and torque link bushings for your Bonanza, Baron or Debonair next from Marsh Brothers Aviation.